Hey, it's Wolfie Chan, and uh, wait, wait, do subscribe. It would really help. Also, fair warning, this manga right here, Seaside Stranger, is a yaoi. I'm into it, some people aren't, but hey, if you don't like it, you can always skip this one. If you're into yaois and like a sweet kind of story, definitely give this one a listen to. So Seaside Stranger follows Mao and Shun, and they're basically on this island that is really pretty, really gorgeous and stuff, but it's a little different. Mao, our main character by the way, is basically done with school, done with all this stuff, and just wants to chill out and relax and doesn't care one bit. Well, Shun kind of stumbles upon his life and kind of changes it all around. They talk, they hang out, you find out that Shun was engaged at one point in time, was going through all this stuff, and didn't follow through with it. You also find out that he's living on this island with, I believe, his grandmother and his sister. And his sister pops up every so often. Very sweet, very awesome. Mao inevitably doesn't want to go home because of some stuff going on at home and ends up staying with Shun at his house for a bit. Mao tries to clean up, does some stuff, and slowly they kind of feel each other out. Mao is, of course, a high schooler and needs to graduate. Shun is already an adult and basically is, you know, not trying to get up all in there. Can't blame him. But Shun basically makes a promise to Mao that he'll come back after he writes or something like that. And when he does, they could maybe have something. Once again, Shun also admits that he's more into guys than he is into girls, and that's why he didn't marry. Shun leaves, Mao goes about his school and is helping around and stuff like that, when Shun comes back to continue writing his stories, book, something like that. And they inevitably have a relationship and something very, very intimate. Mm, yeah. So they're doing all this stuff, they're existing, they're being with each other, all that good stuff. And of course, you know, sister is like, yeah, I had a feeling you were uh, the uh, Yuri or Yaoi type of person. And he's like, well, why didn't you say anything? Yeah, you were bound to tell me anyway, and I accept you for who you are. Really sweet, really awesome. Love that, love this manga. Mao is of course kind of like scatterbrained and is like, uh, and shy about all this stuff and it's really cute until you realize that Shun's ex kind of comes back and is like why didn't you end up marrying me and they go into a long discussion and Shun basically goes I'm gay that's why I didn't want to marry you and his ex fiance is like well that's cool I still would have married you and you could have just had people on the side and that's not what Shun's about Shun's not into that he wanted her to have peace of mind and someone who actually loved her. And she's like, I just wanted to be married. Which, um, gotta be honest with you, lady. No. Don't do that. That's not good. Why? 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 But they are deciding whether or not Mao, Mao and Shun are deciding whether or not to leave and kind of, like, leave the island together or stay here for a little bit longer since they sort of having something together. And I believe that's how the manga first volume of the manga uh, ends if I remember right. It's been a while but I know that like Shun goes through a lot and Mal is just there to kind of help him and be the rock that he deserved. So I would highly recommend this one if you're into yeah if you really like that kind of stuff. It's not like hardcore in your face with their um, deeds, but it is really interesting and really sweet. I highly recommend it personally. So if you like this video, definitely leave a like. Leave it in the comment section below. Have you read Seaside Stranger? And what do you think about it? I haven't really gotten the next volume or anything like that. Don't know if I will, but thinking. 
And don't forget that big red button for more anime, manga, something new, something old, something different in the future. And I hope that you've been having a wonderful day. We'll feature on the